legendary heist of the original Italian job starring Michael Caine begins here in Turin's Piazza di Gitta, where Charlie Croker and his gang ambush the security van carrying the gold they wish to steal. The van is towed into the Palazzo di Gitta, although in reality the interior courtyard used in the film is in fact that of the Palazzo Carignano, around half a kilometre away in the heart of Turin's historic centre. The gang start loading the gold onto the three waiting Mini Coopers before the getaway proper begins. The Minis first drive down the beautiful Baroque staircase of the historic Palazzo Madama, before some clever editing show the cars driving down some more steps into the gorgeous Galleria dell'Industria sul Papina. The entourage whiz around the 19th century arcade, then out into the crowded porticos around Posh via Roma, where Arthur literally grabs a bite to eat and declares, I could eat a horse! <laughs> the minis then continue through another grand Turinese arcade, the Galleria San Federico, where the police motorcyclist pursuing them famously skids on the freshly washed floor, much to the annoyance of the floor cleaner. Further speeding along more neighbouring porticos, lead the minis down into the subway of Turin's main train station, Porta Nuova, now completely redeveloped and almost unrecognisable. Leading another police motorcyclist to crash through a wall along the streets of Lingotto, south of the city centre, the minis then turn up on the steps of the Cieza di Gran Madre di Dio, where they famously drive down, drive, drive, drive down, drive down the steps of the church, shouting, good luck. Turin's iconic Pallavella is the entourage's next destination. Somehow they manage to drive up onto its steep cell-shaped roof without falling through it, foil a squad car that pursues them up there and then drive back down it into a car park for some further misdirection and then they head off to the famous rooftop racing track of the Fiat Lingotto factory nearby. They drive around here for some time, looking for that bloody exit, before they make that hair-raising leap off its roof, and then appear along the banks of the River Po back in the historic centre, before finally driving across the weir in a blaze or rather splash of glory, and escape Turin for good, where the rest is, well, I'm sure you know the rest, and if you don't, then go and watch the original. It's quite a cliffhanger.